Is it one? No, it's two. Sad by sad, I don't have no clue. I'm talking a hardy, shedding out gigs. Cappy as the name takes out of the blue. CM is the one with sense. Hence, you can't just sit on the fence. Come true the foolishness, just look at the gaffer and sit on the bench. When you talk about wins, we got that. Time to settle this thing with a chop back. Aim top corner, roll top scorers. We spread the play that floor up. Out in the field, United twins to the next of kings. Question debate is a show that brings it a one feet one. Try to see who wins. And UFC. Brentford 4, Manchester United 0. And you know, when you say that sentence, it's almost surreal. When you think about where the club was all those years ago, was, key word. But nowadays, it isn't really surprising that Manchester United are getting beat up left, right, and, left, right and centre. Simply not good enough, ladies and gents. If you think that any of those players can go off the pitch with any sense of pride, Mm -mm. none of that less of that please none of that please because it was disgraceful absolutely disgraceful i mean cappy was doing no watch along yesterday i felt sorry for him big up to cappy by the way doing a calling on discord make sure you join the community discord the 22s hey man we'll, we'll send out the link later on but also follow up on twitch at cm22 ent but I'm speechless almost speechless i thought brighton was bad but this and we got liverpool next week big problems massive fallout are coming from this i mean eric ten Hag apparently was so furious that he cancelled the players day off rightfully so and said you better come into training today sunday you better come into training and work your asses off these players have hung managers out to drag fair enough some of the managers may have deserved to you know it's time to go sit but we've done that we've seen it all we've seen the players i saw a lot of the fans turning against the players because it was like i am not going to turn against another manager now we're getting eric ten Hag, a proper coach proper coaching staff in now there are no excuses so then the focus went on to the players but why am i seeing people criticize eric ten Hag again why are we going back into this cycle, Manchester United? Furthermore, some of you need to get on, smell the coffee, and realise the true problems. So we've got players who are not good enough to play at Manchester United. We've got board members, jobs for the boys FC, who have just, you know, brought on the continuation of failures when it comes to negotiating new transfers and bringing in players that the manager wants and needs, that the team needs. But who are the people at the top? The Glazers. The people who have been controlling and managing the show for almost 20 years now at Manchester United. One man was able to paper the cracks. But as you've seen since then, Moy, Van Gaal, Mourinho, Ole, Rangnick for a bit, and now Eric Ten Hag. That's seven people. Seven managers. Yeah, and Ten Hag will leave that out of the way. Six managers have been failures. Players have come and go. Failures. We need to focus on these people and make sure that we are protesting, whether it's on the internet, as me and Cappy are doing today, whether it's the people who are able to go up to Old Trafford and make noise. Empty Old Trafford. We need to make sure that we push these people out of the club. It's not going to happen tomorrow. It's not going to happen next week. But if we continue, if we do this with consistency, then something is bound to happen. It's about resiliency. It's about uniting as a club, coming together for the common cause. Because in the end of the day, everybody wants the same thing. Why can't we come together? Just like everybody did with the Super League debacle and work towards the common cause to help the club get out of this horrid situation because right now this isn't fun it's not the losing it's the manner of which we're losing basics effort brentford ran more than us <laughs> they ran more than us yesterday 
and that's statistically proven. Being able to pass the ball, short or long range, can't do that. Can't handle the pressure of the press. Can't handle pressure in general. Technically gifted, not many. So how are we going to get out of this situation? Well, it should have been a rebuild, right? We should have been entering a rebuild as soon as that summer started. As soon as Eric Ten Hag was confirmed. But all of a sudden we find ourselves with a few weeks left of the transfer window and still in the mud. Apparently Eric Ten Hag's camp are furious with Manchester United because they've let him down. They have lied to him with the amount of signings they said they was going to get him. He handed the board a list of players that he wanted to get. And we've hardly got anybody who has been high up that list. Talk about failures. Talk about failing the rebuild. And it hasn't even truly started yet. Manchester United fans, I'm begging and pleading that, that everybody can just come together. Unite. And I'm not just talking about United fans in the UK. I'm talking about United fans all over the world. I've seen it before. We can do it. But it's time to drop the egos, time to drop the ignorance, time to drop the individual player agendas and look above, look up and figure out what is truly wrong with this football club and where it starts and where it finishes. You know, see ya. On Saturday I did a, I did a pretty good job of keeping calm to a certain extent. You know, especially in that calling, I just let everybody talk, let everybody vent their frustrations, say what they need to say, and then I was able to go offline. You know, during the game, I had moments here and there, you know, but for the most part, I was alright. I was good. But one thing that I just can't accept for the life of me. For the life of me is that this team once again we're gonna focus on the people of it because there is no culture where is the culture where are the leaders where are the fighters where are the people that when they put on this shirt they won't that won't only activate the superpowers but it will activate another side of their mentality it will it will light up another flame in their body to make them want to go to war for this club for this badge where is that when players are leaving the football pitch i expect them to be exhausted i expect them to be drenched in sweat no matter the result they knew that they gave it everything that they had now some of these players heck most of these players might not be technically gifted they might not have it up here when it comes to football in iq but one thing i don't accept is them lacking the effort lacking the mentality to be able to go onto that pitch and fight go to war battle that is one thing that i do not accept as a manchester united fan and neither should you so that is bad enough. And you see these, these these toxic parasites showing up last week. Got a few board members showing up this week. Yeah. Watching on from the game. You should be ashamed, each and every one of you. For the risk. Because you, you guys are responsible for where this club is. I don't care what anybody has to say. These people are the number one issues as to why Manchester United have slowly went on lower lower and lower in standards people have sussed out this football club to the point where they are hesitant to even get involved because they know the minute they come here there is it, there is no damage limitation it's career suicide but we're just supposed to sit here and believe that this club is going into a rebuild when there are people that have been involved in the failure of this club in previous regimes previous regimes we're supposed to believe that these people are responsible for bringing our club back to the top. Happy and Rosie, we've got a new manager now, so everything's fantastic. No, 
because we expected this me cm and all of you guys saw what was going to happen this was going to be an up and down season but right now it's just been down and when when it comes to liverpool next week it could be even worse but this is why we need to continue to focus to get these parasites out of our football club yeah because in this transfer window alone we've seen that the people they decided to employ have not been able to satisfy the demands of our new manager what does that say the new people in the job have already let down eric ten hard and we're supposed to believe we're supposed to trust these people in our new rebuild we're supposed to trust that everything is going to be all right think again Could have been more, it was all that easy uh, I told bro to relax for a minute But the words don't matter when you're all left freezing They tell me to believe Nah, it's not that easy They tell me to believe But it's not that easy Over two, six goals conceded Could have been more, it was all that easy uh, I told bro to relax for a minute But the words don't matter when you're all left freezing They tell me to believe But it's not that easy We two of watch alongs if you don't laugh, you'll cry, no stamina You couldn't even watch for long They're like amateurs, haven't even boxed for long There ain't no pride or fight in the game Switch your mentality, where is the shame? This ain't the first time we see this two Holding an AK with no kind of aim But we knew that Let's look up to the ladder, find a blue tack Stick your eyes out on the real issue Glazers out now, patching holes with tissue them out. Where I'm from, when he sees every time It means that you're speaking the truth True word. How can we see all of the answers But they need spec savers and see they ain't a group <laughs> United, by name and a rule we're divided Some of the fan base that hiding The others voicing you're wrong to be hiding Everyone wants W's trophy But can't unite to be walking with mileage Drop the ego thing and let's talk IRL on the net to remind it Do it! They tell me to believe Nah it's not that easy Over two six goals conceded Could have been more it was all that easy mm. I told bro to relax for a minute But the words don't matter when you're all left freezing They tell me to believe Nah, it's not that easy They tell me to believe But it's not that easy Over two, six goals conceded Could have been more, it was all that easy I told bro to relax for a minute But the words don't matter when you're all left freezing They tell me to believe But it's not that easy ETH already been failed in one window, man, he won't prevail If the fans don't have his back for the foreseeable, he's destined to fail The group of players scattered like a graph, organisation anomaly charts And the basic skills ain't working, the feet flexing and glitching like a knot Rush ting, and not the good kind, no ever for the travelling, no kind MTOT for the one time, maybe even more so we stir for a long time Sheesh. We need a game to sit for the future of what this club could be work, work. Foundations were set, but these parasites are breaking it down to the T They tell me to believe, oh, no. nah it's not that easy Over two six goals conceded, could have been more, it was all that easy I told bro to relax for a minute, but the words don't matter when you're all left freezing They tell me to believe, nah it's not that easy they tell me to believe, oh, no. but it's not that easy. Over two six goals conceded, could have been more. It was all that easy. I told bro to relax for a minute, but the words don't matter when you're all that.